Hey, welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything. As long as we use logic and common sense. I thought we'd go over a few issues raised by various comments I've received. Today, David Hume didn't believe we have enough evidence for any miracles. Was he right? If you've been watching Clean Cut long enough, you know I rarely talk on the topic of miracles. But this is a special case, because this topic was raised by someone else. I may come back to this topic in the future, because there's a lot to address from Hume's work, but for today, we'll be focusing on a claim he made, which was brought to my attention by a commenter, and which I've found on many websites, including one that was specifically for intelligent quotes. Here's the quote. There is not to be found in all history any miracle attested by a sufficient number of men of such unquestioned good sense, education, and learning as to secure us against all delusion in themselves. David Hume I enjoy engaging with older arguments by people like Hume, Voltaire, and Russell because these were men who really seemed to believe the positions they held to the point of trying to defend them on rational grounds. It's refreshing to see, even when I totally disagree with them. In this case, we can see that Hume's expectations are in error. He says, to secure us against all delusion in themselves. Hume wrote many works touching on the psychology of religion, but he was not himself a psychologist, and he shows this by using the words secure us against regarding delusions. Delusions are an actual, diagnosable psychological condition, which even in Hume's time could be discovered by significant questioning. Delusional disorder is recognizable from an inability to distinguish between imagination and reality, and no delusion ever exists utterly in isolation from other delusions. This is how one can tell the difference between a mistaken man and a delusional man. A delusion is a firm, fixed, false belief which is not open to reason or experience, and because of this, a delusional person will often surround this belief with other firm, fixed, false beliefs in order to attempt to defend it. However, the key point of all delusions is that they represent a lack of understanding of the difference between reality and the imagined. One thing that characterizes cases of delusional disorder is claims that are false without being bizarre. For example, making claims about the last month of their own life in vivid detail but incorrectly. These signs can help one to identify a person who has delusional disorder so they can get the help they need. In asking to be secured against delusions, Hume is clearly not requesting that the men in question pass a test to ensure that they don't suffer from delusional disorder. Instead, he is rejecting their claims because, in his mind, they don't have good sense, education, or learning, and therefore can't be trusted to identify things they see with their own eyes. If used in an argument, this would be a classic example of an argument ad hominem, attacking a person rather than their claims. Needless to say, it's Hume's testimony that I find most suspect here. Maybe this phrase shouldn't be on Brainy Quote. Just saying. Next, is there such a thing as empirical reality? That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.